What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're going to be talking about something, well, we haven't this entire week, and that is the actual treasure train. No, we don't have any special events or anything, however, we do have a rate up once again on the hero token, and it does go until Thursday, so should you do this? Well, let's talk about it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one, let's jump into some treasure train action. So why do we covet the hero token series so much? Well, it's because it's one of the few series that work in every single game mode, mainly because they are associated with a specific class instead of like Transcendence Hero Faction or something along those lines. Granted, those are pretty good too, but these give you some very unique things. Assassins get additional speed, Rangers get dodge rate, Mages get control immunity offset, Warriors, eh, it doesn't matter, uh, Priests get control immunity, and then there is a second tier of them giving Assassins more crit, Rangers holy damage, heal effects on Priests, damage reduction on Warrior, that one is good, and control precision on Mages. Beyond that, there's even a lower tier just giving tons of of secondary stats that are hard to come by to your heroes so normally this is the one we usually say for even free to play you usually want to try to get to the 30 chest so you can get some stuff like the uh the wall breaker tank little down here the green one we however are going to go 150 in and we have a lot of treasure train tickets we also have a lot of treasure crystals normally Normally, I would save our treasure coupons for special events because once to twice a year, we'll have a new series come out that uses regular treasure coupons. As you guys have seen, we've had like hero merch come out uh, and we've had retro gaming come out. It's been a while though, so I'm not going to really wait and see. I'm going to see what we can get in 150. So let's take a look at the important stat right here. Where is it? We are at 10.2 million fixed attack after this holiday. Jeez. Yeah, we, we upgraded a lot of the older stuff, not necessarily the Easter set, but Beloved Ring and everything is maxed out. So let's jump in. Let's see what we can get for some power upgrades here. We're, of course, going to be using Treasure Crystals first, and then we're going to destroy whatever is duplicate. So fingers crossed. <laughs> we already start with one pink treasure. Got to love it. That is perfect. Hopefully we see some orange treasures too. But to be honest, our red treasures aren't even maxed out. So if we can hit some red full treasures, that's good. We did hit one orange right there, which is awesome. Ooh, oh, single charge. But hey, we got that little uh, Azriel looking flute thing again, which is really, really good. Again, if we see any full red treasures too, that's going to be awesome. Right there. That's perfect. Let's do one more. And then actually we're going to jump over and do something else very quickly. We have 101 guild collections. These don't count towards the event or anything, but what this is going to be able to allow us to do, ooh, we got some duplicates, is get a lot more treasure crystals from duplicates that we already have maxed out. So even though a lot of these aren't actually going to help our power too much, <laughs> although we've already hit an orange and a pink here, that's pretty good. Um... A lot of these extra shards are going to get turned into treasure crystals, which means we can save our, some of our treasure coupons. So let's get through all 51 of these that are left. There we go. We got another full pink treasure. Today's going to be a good power up. Even though we're not doing a crazy amount, there's another 50 right there. Even though we're not doing a crazy amount like we would during like a charm treasure event, this is going to turn out pretty good for power gains. Nothing there and nothing there we got one last ticket though this could be the best treasure ever i mean it's a full treasure at the very least so what that means is now we have a lot of stuff to destroy giving us sixteen thousand treasure crystals which is kind of the main main reason because you can see here now we get to save what uh 16 tickets then right i think that's how the math works out <laughs> if that's how math truly works um yeah nothing great there we're going to use the last 10,000 of our treasure crystals, and we hit another red, which is good. So we are at what? 80 of 150. So we do need to go 70 into this. That's not too bad. That's still going to save us treasure train coupons, which is nice. We're going to get still no fulls. Come on. Let's end this with a bang. Come on. Let's see the orange and pink treasures full 
there we go there's one of them we'll take it now remember this is an up rate which means technically some of these treasures are going to come from other series too we got another orange right there is just an up rate you can actually see exactly what you're pulling from here it's just you have one that has a higher up rate so we need to do 30 more to get to 150 and then we got to figure out exactly which ones we're going for a couple shards here and there nothing super great anything good on this one no and we have the last one here let's let's dramatically open these let's go the interesting uh, i mean we got we got that we got two for pink we got another purple unlock another purple unlock we're getting all the same treasures in this one anything good no all right well that's still pretty good and this is going to translate into more resources too so we're going to select all of these and upgrade them there we go we got a bunch of them that got rate ups and then right here we get twenty three thousand back yet again so we're already in a good spot and we did get to 150 which means in our mailbox we should have these treasure chests now figuring out where to use these treasure chests is going to be uh interesting a lot of these ones up here i don't particularly care too much about it might be worthwhile to like just unlock these because that's like a lot of gain and power there void campaign i mean we could go for the sweet pie i mean the other thing is i i still like i still like trying to max these out and i think that's what we're gonna do we're finally gonna get the alien arcade max giving us more maim damage in void campaign so i think that is the play for the pink treasure box going for this one i really want that and then we have to decide what else is going to be getting those upgrades so yep that goes to five star bam we get some additional shards there uh and now retro gaming is in a good spot all damage dealt <clears throat> that could be possible but let's see if there's anything else we want here damage reduction is kind of nice if we go for the earphones so i'm gonna do that I'll grab the red chest wait red chest where are you red chest where did you go wait are you in the middle somewhere oh there it is that's so weird where the location it puts it let's do the headphones and then i don't know if there's really much we need to upgrade for other pieces that actually almost maxed it out which is cool to see uh hero merch we could look at that no no those aren't the game modes we want we want to probably go back to i mean retro gaming still has some really good ones that we're close to maxing uh we could go for the tank get more damage reduction i like that and then purple man i actually don't know if there's any purples that we don't have max we got all those maxed out all those maxed out all those maxed out yeah we got like everything maxed out so let's see um oh shoot the orange one wait did we even look at the orange one yet oops Got those hero token ones is there anything here no what about alien dessert is void campaign i mean we could keep going on the bear ice cream that kind of works right there we go and then what was the other one the green one we said we were going to open for the tank because we're almost done with it right and then the purple one yeah we just got to see if there's anything worthwhile for that one those done and then hero merch all maxed out over here all maxed out that is not something we can do it on magic academy i guess we can max any one of these out this one kind of looks the best the broken pocket watch actually i don't know if that's enough shards even wait is that not one of the series yes it is okay cool that's only 20 shards so yeah that's not going to get upgraded right nope so all right so our grand total is now only 10.6 so we didn't go up a ton of attack but we got a ton of secondary stats off this which is kind of the most important part so uh actually you know what hold on wait do we have an upgrade here did we hit a new tier oh, i think we did oh man i think that that's actually huge we actually hit 2500 which is bonus fixed attack and hp so previously we're at the 1250 so yeah we got a decent jump right there that's that's actually pretty good oh wait and we hit, hit something over here arcane jewelry oh hey look at that we got some rewards i didn't even remember to look at the actual rewards if we had anything else to claim 
Uh, we did do some upgrades here, 399. Got to get to 5,000, though, to get that additional all damage dealt and holy damage. But I think that's it. That's good. So, uh, yeah, hero token is here. If you want to go for 150 into it, be my guest. Get some extra chests and get some of the best treasures there are in the game. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.